Not so many years ago, the automobile was considered a luxury. About the only time it received an airing was on Sunday or a holiday. Today, millions of buses, trucks, and cars travel the highways from coast to coast. The number of cars on our city streets offers proof that for millions of people, automotive transportation is almost as much a necessity as a house. The good all-round serviceman is really four mechanics in one. He must be able to make all repairs on the engine, such as repairing or replacing the camshaft. He must understand all types of engines thoroughly. Or although all gas engines are fundamentally the same, differences have been developed in the various makes of cars which the mechanic must know. For example, in cleaning out carbon and grinding valves, he may work on the L-head type engine one time, while the next engine may be the overhead valve type. Both types provide efficient power, but the problems of adjusting them are totally different. A good serviceman is also a machinist. In an emergency, he may be called upon to make completely some minor part which may not be in the stock of repair parts. The superior serviceman is a welder. Through accidents and even ordinary usage, parts are broken and have to be repaired. The expert welder is valuable to any garage and often concentrates on specialized work at very good pay. In addition, the all-round serviceman is an electrician and must have the knowledge and skill to keep the automobile's electrical system in working order. But without the spark to fire the engine, there would be no power. In the early days, electrical energy was supplied by dry batteries, but the car of today carries its own generating and storage plant. The storage battery is of low voltage, so a coil and condenser is necessary to step up the current enough to jump the spark gaps and the spark plugs. The coil and distributor also must be tested and kept in proper working order. Besides the ignition system, there are the lighting and starting circuits which sometimes need the services of a competent mechanic. The use of heaters, windshield wipers and radios has further increased and complicated the electrical work of the serviceman. Because of the high speed at which vehicles travel today, the care and adjustment of brakes is a serious and vital part of the serviceman's work. The safety of the car on the highway largely depends on good brakes, along with correct and accurate alignment of the wheels. Radiator repair and general care of the cooling system is important in making cars run efficiently and economically, so soldering is another of the many kinds of work the serviceman must do. In the larger garages, the man who becomes expert in servicing engines may find specialized work on engines only. There are body and fender shops which employ men who are specialists in that line. There are battery and electrical shops, and other shops which make brake testing and wheel aligning the principal part of their business. For any of these jobs, a thorough training in general service work is valuable. There is an opportunity in the larger garages for the serviceman to advance to service manager or to become a troubleshooter. Besides technical knowledge and skill, these jobs require the ability to meet the public, to make a good impression, and to explain clearly the work that needs to be done or that has been done. Some servicemen become automobile salesmen. If they have sales ability, they are usually successful because they have the advantage of really understanding the cars they sell. If you enter the automotive service field, your first job will probably be as a helper in the shop of a general service garage. Or it may be in the parts department. You will have a chance to learn the names of the many parts of an automobile and their relationship to each other. You will learn about lubrication and other operations in automobile upkeep. While doing these jobs, you must be alert to learn everything you possibly can. You must also study constantly in your spare time. As a basis for study, there are numerous service manuals put out by the automobile manufacturers to help train servicemen to do their work correctly. These manuals are full of accurate information and they're interesting to study because of their detailed diagrams and illustrations. There are many good books on automotive service in your school or public library. Be sure to select books which are up to date, however, as automobiles are constantly being improved. Most automobile manufacturers provide training courses for their servicemen. 
Regular training conferences are held for employees in the more up-to-date garages. The manager, shop foreman, or some other expert discusses the newest automobile developments and how to service them properly. Movies and slide films are sometimes shown in the local shop. Manuals for further study are provided along with the films. You should never miss such opportunities to learn if you expect to become a successful mechanic. Another way to learn while working is to attend evening classes dealing with the fundamental principles of the automobile. These classes are conducted in the larger towns and cities by the public schools or other local organizations. In some of them, courses in shop practice are also given. Don't fail to take advantage of these courses to help you prepare yourself for the better jobs. There are a number of private automotive trade schools which offer good courses, but some of them have practical equipment, such as this cutaway duplicate of a differential. You should never choose such a school, however, without thorough investigation. Ask your teachers or other authorities about them. Or you can take a correspondence course, which also should be investigated. A correspondence course will be most valuable to you after you actually start working. For theory and practice carried on together will give you the most thorough training. However you get your training, study and hard work are necessary for you to become a superior mechanic, able to hold one of the better jobs. While you're still in high school, you can lay a strong foundation for automotive service. The gas engine produces power by burning fuel in a small enclosed space. In your physics class, you'll learn how this is done. In physics, you'll learn how the cooling system carries off the heat after power has been produced by the burning or combustion process in the engine. The transmission of the engine's power through gears and wheels to make the car move can be more clearly understood if you know the principles of physics. Electrical physics will help you understand the ignition of a car. So you can see that physics is not only an interesting subject, but very necessary if you are to become a first-class auto mechanic. Take all the mathematics you can, for you'll need it in every type of automotive work you do. Mechanical drawing will help you in reading the many plans and illustrations in automotive textbooks and service manuals. This is especially important if you plan to become a shop foreman. In some of the larger public schools, the school shop is equipped to give practical automotive training. In others, this experience must be found in a service garage at the same time that automotive theory is studied in school. School shop training of any kind will help you develop the coordination of hands and mind which is so important in all mechanical work. As an automobile service worker, you will have a responsibility for the safe, smooth and economical operation of the cars on which you work. No matter what the size of the shop, there is one rule for success. Every job must be done right. If you develop the ability to manage a business, you may be promoted to garage manager, or you may be able to go into business for yourself. For this, you'll need to know something about bookkeeping, salesmanship, and business management. If you really like to use tools and have a knack for mechanical work, learn all you can about it at your local service garage. You'll find some things you may not like, but the dirt and grease will wash off. Try tinkering with an old car and rebuilding it. Do the best job you can, just as though some car owner depended on you. When you're finished, you may have found your life work. Thousands of new automobiles are manufactured every year. Although many of them replace cars which are worn out, the total number of motor vehicles will probably continue to increase for some time to come. If you qualify yourself, there is a reasonable possibility that you will find employment in the automotive service field. <laughs>